Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the apps that I use to edit my photos. A lot of you have been asking where I edit my photos or what apps I use, so I'm going to show that to you today. Whatever you see on my screen are the main apps that I use, but I will be showing you a step-by-step -step process and how I achieve my Instagram theme. So I actually have a Lightroom tutorial as well, but this vlog is mainly the apps that I use on my phone. So let's get started. First up, my raw photos directly goes to Snapseed. This is the first app that I use where I adjust my brightness and whatever it is that needs to be adjusted. I have saved the photos already on my favorites so that's easier for me to locate it. Let's start off with a product shoot from Glossier. As you can see, the picture is not super bright. I normally shoot like this because I prefer adjusting brightness after the photo rather than adjusting it darker you know because it's easier for me to edit so when i tune my image i adjust my brightness to at least 50 percent from the original photo because it's easier for me to look at and i don't know it looks more pleasing it looks more clean rather than it being dark well that's my preference at least and then i also adjust the highlights so that the back of the photo is also being captured because normally the brightness adjusts only the ones that are on the center I don't know if you noticed that and then I adjust the structure or the sharpen or whatever it is that needs to be detailed just because this product has text in it I want it to be clear that's the reason why I sharpen it now when I'm happy with that I go save that and then I proceed with the next photo that I want to edit now this next photo is a picture of me by the beach and it's actually a sunset however the background is super bright I think that was my camera setting so what I'll do right now is not adjust the brightness but clean up the picture as you can see there are um, a little bit of not dirt but there are things on the side of the photo that I want to remove you can use the healing tool on Snapseed and you, you'll find it over there and when it's clean I just zoom it out see if the picture is fine when I'm happy with it I go save it as well I don't need any adjusting on this photo because it's already bright so I proceed with my next photo the next photo that I will be editing is a sunset photo of the beach itself and the boat is the subject Now the last photo that I want to edit is my photo with Julian. As you can see this photo is bright as well but I will still be increasing the brightness because I will be doing something on this photo later. Now that I'm done with Snapseed, I go ahead to my second app where I usually add my filters. I mean, this is the only app where I add my filters and that's the VSCO app. I will be importing all the photos that I edited in Snapseed. This will already be on my camera roll, so I just have to import it on VSCO cam. So first, let's go ahead and edit the product shot that I did for Glossier. If you are wondering what filter I use, it's usually the A6, the Analog 6. This is my favorite filter of all time, but I don't normally use the full filter. I reduce it depending on the photo. In this case, I will keep it to 8.0 and then I adjust the exposure again. The reason why I don't adjust the exposure is because VSCO exposure goes high or low. There's no in-between. Once I'm happy with the exposure, I sharpen it because the filter sometimes reduces the quality of the photo. And this is where the magic happens. This is how I do the golden filter or the golden theme, the temperature option. This is like my favorite part. As you can see the before and after, ha, ah, I love it. 
Okay, let's proceed with the next photo, my photo of me by the beach. Now this one, I will still be using my A6 filter as always and I will be adjusting the exposure as well. A little bit of exposure though and I will be decreasing the contrast so that I can still add a little bit of detail to this photo because if the contrast is high and the exposure is high then I have no idea what's gonna happen to the photo and then add a little bit of temperature to it actually it depends on the, the picture sometimes brighter picture doesn't show a lot of color or temperature but in this case even if it's bright you can still see the temperature so I chose a middle temperature scale which is around 3.0 so I'm happy with that photo. Let's go ahead and edit this sunset shot. Now, this sunset shot is a little bit tricky because if I try to do A6, it doesn't really show anything on the photo. Like, it takes away everything. So, I don't know. When this happens, I try to look for another filter that would fit my feed. And when I'm having a hard time to do that, I normally increase the temperature first. Now, once the temperature is set, I will go ahead and look for a filter that would match my feed. Since my feed is a little bit orangey and white, as you can see, I am using the L11 Desert filter. I know it looks so orangey, but obviously you can reduce the filter. I adjust the exposure, I adjust the sharpness so that the details of the waves are still visible. And when I am okay with it, I go ahead and save it. Now you will notice that this photo is super orange compared to the first two photos that we edited. So I go ahead and edit it again, reduce the temperature to take away the orange effect. And when I think I'm happy with it, I go ahead and save it. I mean, it looks so much better compared to earlier. I know it reduced just a little bit. So the last photo that I will be editing here is a photo of me and Julian. This photo deserves an A6 again. As always, my favorite filter, as you can see, it highlighted the black outfit, which is perfect for the picture. Even if the background is super white, it highlights our outfit. So I sharpen it just to create the details. And as usual, let's use the magic temperature so that we can add the golden tone to it. Now this is my final edit. This is actually two different photos, but I just want to show you how I normally edit. Now that I'm done with VS Co, I go ahead and save these photos for my next app. Okay, so now that the photos are saved on my camera roll, I will be showing you a little trick, which is a lens flare. There are two photos that I want to edit. First up is a photo of me by the beach, the one that I edited earlier. As you can see, there is no sun on this photo. I mean, there is probably a sun, but obviously it's not visible. So what I do is I add a little bit of sun to this photo. I position the sun where it should be. I don't know, sometimes it's on the left, it's on the right, wherever the sun would look good. On this app, you will see the edit option wherein you can see the scale, the brightness, the aspect, source, and artifacts. Just edit them the way you want it to look like. In my case, I want it super bright because I want it to look like I'm standing in front of the rays of the sun. And uh, when I'm happy with it, I adjust the color wheel to the color of my feed, which is orange golden. Now, when I'm happy with that, I go ahead and save it. I know there's not much difference, but this just gives an extra feel to your photo so that it doesn't look super plain. So this other photo is a photo of me and Julian by the dock and you can already tell that there's a sun on that part where you can see on my screen. I just want to enhance that sun because, I don't know, I want it to be extra dramatic. 
well you can tell so i go ahead and reduce the source the artifacts and the aspect of the sun ray so it doesn't look fake you know because it just enhances the photo and i'm finally done with my final touches now these photos are ready for instagram okay so this next app that i'm going to show you is called the preview app and this is basically a duplicate of my instagram preview app is an app where you can arrange your instagram layout you can schedule your posts and you can plan ahead on whatever pictures that you want to upload now in my case i don't schedule my posts because i want to do it manually but i normally use my preview app to just see if the photos that i edited matches my feed as you can see my feed is like golden brownish whitish and it changes i mean it's not consistent there are blues in it there are greens in it but as much as possible i want to stick with the golden brownish color now let me import all the photos that we edited today which is the ones that you can see on the screen and if you notice my instagram has a pattern right now you can see there's a, like a portrait a lifestyle portrait lifestyle outfit lifestyle so it's an alternate pattern and very coincidentally the ones that we edited were two portraits and two lifestyles so it fits perfect on the feed this yellow sunset is kind of too orangey but i want to show you that i already uploaded that before and once you see a set of photos like 12 or 9 photos together it actually matches the feed sometimes it looks too orangey when it's an individual photo but when it actually goes along with the feed it matched perfect so i think i'm happy with the photos that we edited today sometimes i switch things up because i have priorities let's say i need to upload a product that was sent to me by a pr so i go ahead and post that first before another lifestyle photo but it depends on how you want your feed to be you don't have to follow a pattern like me whatever you want to do on your feed do it so yeah that's how i basically edit my photos that's the process and that's how i achieve my instagram feed now whatever you see on your screen are the editors or the apps that i use for my photos, which is Afterlight, PixArt, Fonto, Facetune, and Vaunt. Vaunt is one of my favorites because this is where you can add text on your videos. Also Fonto where you can add other fonts. Like let's say if you want to be extra on your Insta story. So just go ahead and download this. It's available in App Store and I don't know if it's available on Android. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!